Welcome to Salt Lake City, Utah. With energy prices rising and supplies dwindling and pollution and global warming only getting worse, I finally decided this year to power my new home with alternative energy. Now, there are lots of choices out there, but fortunately, this one was easy. Utah has on average every year 125 sunny days and 101 partly sunny days. That means at least part of the day, the sun is out nearly two-thirds of the year, making it one of the sunniest parts of the country. So after choosing solar power, my choices then became, one, who was going to build it, two, how much power did I need, three, where was I going to put it, and four, how the heck was I going to get it there? That's what this story is all about. First, I had to find a company to build it. I went online and made a few phone calls. I found there aren't a lot of firms in Utah building solar power systems, and our project was going to be particularly challenging. But one firm stood out, In Hot Water, Heat, and Power of Eden, Utah. They did a site survey, went over the details, and about a month later, I began my adventure into this brave new world, with an emphasis on brave. Our courageous crew rode up appropriately in a white pickup truck. The Knights of Grass Plus Landscaping led by, I'm not making this up, Richard Lyon. But why is a landscaping company helping to build a solar power system? Because it's being built in the Valley of Death, a 40-foot deep ravine with a steep slope leading to a rock-hard, uneven plot among trees and power lines. It's a fun little, almost vertical trip from here, 45 degrees at least. <laughs> it's a rocky mess. But King Richard and his knights knew the challenge this project presents. Ten 200-watt photovoltaic cell panels mounted atop a 15-foot steel pole, like in this picture. The panels are connected to a solar-powered tractor device. The panels follow the sun as its position changes, maximizing the power production. Large structures like this are usually restricted to business parks and rural areas. But our ravine was a rare and perfect urban location. Blocked from wind, too low and surrounded by trees to obstruct neighbors' views, and most importantly, a broad and continuous exposure to the southern and western skies where the sun's rays are most powerful. Richard's job was to erect the pole and lay the conduit between the solar panels and the house. He's done a lot of jobs, but he knew this one would be different, difficult, and even dangerous. Where does this rate with the ones you've done? <laughs> difficult and skill is a 10. I'd give this a good 12 or 13. And we'll raise her up like a good old-fashioned Amish barn raising and stake her out and put some concrete in. At the same time, workers dug a 50-foot trench, 18 inches deep, to serve a dual purpose. Slide the pole down the hill into the hole, then lay the pipe that would protect the cables running from the panels to the house. Richard used the pole that connects my hammock to the maple tree as a primitive pulley. Using ropes, they could slide the bags down on plastic pallets and quickly pull them up again. Yeah, that's good. Just do the best we can with what we got. It takes more than a ton and a half of cement to set the steel pole. Then, after two days, there it is, built through the imagination and hard work of Richard and his crew. We just don't want to drop one because they're too expensive. Now that the weather's improved, we're ready to finish the job. Brett and Jason Lewis of JC Electric have done all the installations for In Hot Water, but they say this one is going to be their toughest because of the steep terrain. So maybe go along the fence line so you can hold on to the fence line so you don't fall? They start by assembling the 10 200-watt panels. When we're through, we'll have a 2,000-watt panel. Everything goes smoothly. After a few hours, it's time to hook everything up. That includes cables, the lightning ground, 
heavy-duty shocks to keep the panels stable on windy days. Okay, you hold my ladder, okay? And the Freon-filled pipes that allow sturdy. the panels to follow the sun throughout the day. After that's completed, it's time for the GridPoint Connect unit. This central computerized system monitors how much power the panels generate, how much power the house is using, and contains the batteries that store backup power gathered by the panels to be used at night or for emergencies. GridPoint Connect is also an uninterruptible power supply that responds to a power outage in less than 20 milliseconds, faster than you can blink your eye, keeping computers and other essential appliances going without even a flicker. Brett and Jason now hook up the solar panels to GridPoint Connect, which will be stored in a small room near the garage and breaker panels. They carefully choose where to locate GridPoint Connect, where to drill and run the cables to minimize disruptions to your home. In no time, the panels are not only following the sun, they're soaking it in and delivering the two kilowatt hours this system was designed to produce. Every grid point connect is also monitored by company support staff to make sure problems are discovered and repaired quickly. This unit is plugged directly into my home's computer router and right to the internet. So not only can the company monitor it, you can log on to GridPoint's website anytime and see how much solar power you're generating, how much you're using, and how much money and pollution you're saving. <laughs> we are looking good. We're yeah. looking good. Everything worked right away without a hitch. It was fun and exciting just watching In Hot Water and JC Electric install my new solar power system. It's going to be even more exciting to see how, over the years, the system cuts my power bill, cuts pollution, gives power back to my community, and helps me stay both better connected and more independent at the same time. But best of all, it makes me feel better about my home and the environment. By investing in renewable energy through in hot water, I know I've done the best I can to make the future better for my family, my community, and the whole world.